Good day, subscribers. Today is episode seven of semester one, summer and fall courses. If you would like to see the previous episode before watching this one, click the banner in the upper right hand corner. In the last episode, we talked about OMS Central. As I said, OMS Central is a review site for a bunch of different courses in the OMS CS and OMS A programs. I really found this site helpful, especially when looking for which courses I wanted to sign up for for 2019 summer and 2019 fall. So I highly recommend you check it out before you sign up for any classes. It gives you a great idea of what to expect in the class, the difficulty, and a good idea of what you should know before taking the class. For example, when I was looking up classes for the summer, Reinforced Learning said it would be helpful to take machine learning before that class. As always, I'd like to thank all of my subscribers for joining me as I go through this program. Right now, we're just above 100, and it's so much fun to watch the channel grow. This video's comic is about self-driving cars and I really laughed when I read it for the first time. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about signing up for summer and fall courses for the 2019 year. Here, you can see my time ticket that I received for signing up for courses, which starts on April 3rd at 5 p.m. For summer courses and for fall courses, the registration starts at the same date, even though Obviously, summer courses start before the fall courses. Here, we see the course options for the 2019 summer. As you can see, it's a shorter list than we're used to looking at. Obviously, for spring and fall, there's a lot more course options to look for. When looking at this, it's important to find the ones that you like the most and find multiple. Most likely, when you get your time ticket, just like when I got mine, classes will begin to fill up as soon as registration opens, so you should have a couple of options to look at. For me, my top options were CS6515, CS7642, and CS7646. Unfortunately, when I logged on with my allotted time, the only class that I was able to sign up for was CS6310, Software Architecture and Design. After looking at the OMS Central review for this course, it looks like a promising course. For fall course options, as you can see, there's a lot more. Again, it's important to remember that there are multiple sections for each course. For example, for CS7641, we have section O01 and OAN. For OMS CS students, we are section 001. If you try to sign up for a class in another section, you'll get an error. For the fall semester, my top choices were CS6476, CS7641, and CS7646. When signing up, I was able to get myself waitlisted for computer vision and machine learning for trading. For both of these courses, my waitlist position is reasonably low. For computer vision, which is my number one choice, I'm waitlist position 106. And for machine learning for trading, my second choice, I'm waitlist position 191. Now there's a couple pieces of advice I would give for people who are signing up for courses, and especially for people who are going to waitlist themselves for two courses, which means it is possible that for the fall semester, I wouldn't be taking any course. My first piece of advice would be sign up for multiple courses. Even if you only have one course that you're very interested in, make sure you have a backup plan. And second, have a backup plan. As I've said in a previous video, you have to finish two fundamental courses in your first year. Because I'm taking one this semester, and I'll be taking one over the summer, that'll be my two fundamental courses. So even if it does happen that I don't take a course in the fall, I'll still be okay because I would have completed two fundamental courses. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and were able to learn something. 
If you have any questions, leave a comment. Thanks and subscribe.